sure our next guest agrees with all of that stuff. Some other great time saving tips. Nothing is worse than being pressed for time, right? So to help keep you out of the drive through is Heidi Diller, registered dietitian. You've seen her on our show many times. She's been, she has a blog, betterthandormfood.com. How are you? I'm awesome. Thanks, Monica. Oh, so glad to, to Heidi's been with us for like 10 years. She's been yeah. doing this show for 10 years. Her kids are now in college, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so Quiet. you know, you know all about this, you know, grab and go because you have Absolutely. two boys who are always busy. That's right. And this is a busy time of year, right? Back to yeah. school, back to routine. We all yeah. need some ideas for quick, quick menu, quick out the door ideas. Okay. All right. What you all got right. here? Because everything looks good. I'm starving. All right. Well, let's start with breakfast. Now, first of all, I've got two rules we got to okay. talk about. One is you need to keep a stock kitchen for this to work. Okay. And you got to bring it with you. All right. Okay? Gotcha. That's the only gotcha. way it's going to work. All, all right. right. So number one, I love this idea. This is always use. You have tortillas in your house? Yes, I do okay. actually. Whole wheat ones? No, uh, well, not no. always. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a whole wheat theme here today. But anyway, this is a, a quesadilla with any type of a nut butter and fruit. You don't have to use bananas. Like a lot of people think peanut butter and bananas right. go together. You can use apples, strawberries, kiwis. It That's all works. smart. Right. Okay. okay. Now here's, I love this one. They call this one my rock and roll smoothie. All right. This is where you only have one hand, right? But you want your coffee too. Mm -hmm. So people don't realize you can put coffee in your smoothie. I do this all the time. Take really? cold coffee from the night before, keep it in your fridge. Yeah. Put it in with, blended with a, a banana and some protein powder. So good. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't think anybody have thought of something like, like that. It's like a BOGO. Like yeah. a two in one. Okay. okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Now snacks count too, right? Mm -hmm. I love grab and go snacks that have simple ingredients. Okay. All right. So what fits the bill here are Sun Chips multi-grain snacks. Mm -hmm. They're actually a better choice than you might think. They have, they're a hundred percent whole grain. They have over 21 grams of whole grain in every and ounce. And that's the word. That's the key word. Whole grain. That's right. right? That's, okay. You see the theme here, right? right? And so what I like to do is compare Pair these protein or these uh, portion control bags yeah. with a little bit of hummus or okay. um, some guacamole or some salsa to give it kind of a little nutrient rich. I boost. just want to store you in my kitchen. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Now this is so cool. I just like the way this looks. Isn't this fun? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about this one first. This is actually oh well we got the salad on here. All right. Yeah, so yeah. this is this is a salad in a jar. What's so great about this? Now, making each one takes a little bit longer than 60 seconds, but okay. you make like three at once. These right. will stay in your refrigerator for about three days. Uh -huh. The key is you got to put the dressing. Do you see the dressing yeah, here is at the at bottom? The bottom. Yeah. So then you layer it on up with things that are away from the dressing that don't get, you know, the moisture. And what is it like an eight ounce jar? Is that yeah, like eight you ounces? Can do okay. this size, you can do bigger. I even use leftover mayonnaise jars, whatever you have. It doesn't have to be a mason jar. Then what you do when you want to eat it, you just take it, you shake, shake it, it up. really hard and all the dressing disperses and I you eat it. I love it. it. And then last but not least here, we have a pita and a whole wheat again. Mm -hmm. We got whole wheat chips, whole wheat tortillas, whole wheat pita. Okay. And this is uh, what I like to do is utilize leftovers in a different way. A lot of people don't like leftovers, yeah. right? But this is leftovers with a new presentation. Stick it in your pita and off you go. See, that this, these dietitians, they know how all these little <laughs> tricks, her stuff is even posted on Pinterest. I, I can't stand it. <laughs> Heidi, thank you so much. These are some great ideas. Thank we you. appreciate that. All